On my last video, I said I was quitting PKing due to a lack of PvP updates and starting a group hardcore Iron Man. Now, a lot of you didn't believe me, but hey, here we are. Now, I actually would have started group Iron Man on release with this exact same team if Jags had announced that Leagues was going to be delayed till January, before group Iron Man came out. But Jags didn't do that, and they announced it after group Iron Man came out, so here we are, starting one month late. Let's meet the team. Mika. Mika is an all-around player known for his insane progress and skill in both DMM and Leagues, as well as having a high-leveled Iron Man and even maxing on RuneScape 3 and winning a Golden Gnome there. Mazhar. Maz is an OG. He was one of the first 100 people to max on Old School RuneScape. He's competed on stage at Deadman modes and has some of the most efficient strategies. He held rank 1 on Twisted Leagues, as well as rank 1 Mauritania on Trailblazer Leagues, which was the hardest thing to do. He's an all-around beast. 9-2. 9-2, for a lack of a better description, is a human machine. He plays Deadman mode with me and Maz, and is one of the first people in the entire game to get MM2 done, every single time. Not only that, he was the first person to the final relic in Trailblazer Leagues, with 15,000 points on the high scores, when the guy in second place only had 13,000 points. He doesn't even stream or make videos, he simply plays the game out of pure enjoyment, but hopefully we can convince him to start making content sometime during the series. And then, there's me, the villain of DMM, the guy who can only PK, the guy who died to Witch's House and Jad in Gilinor Games. Will I lose all four lives, or will I understand and finally learn the game like never before and take over the group Iron Man scene? I guess we'll have to find out. Let's get into it. And if you're wondering what our team name is, it's PvP Updates. We get it, bro. Wait, our group only has four Oh. Okay. Dude, wait, I don't have enough coins to buy a spade. Okay, my bad. Send Bronze Dagger, sell Bronze Sword, sell Bronze Axe. Yo, stop screaming at me, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> okay, I've got a spare now. Yo. I'm looking for a quest, boys. Picking up every item spawn in the castle. Okay, pick up a cabbage, too. Um, have you any quests for me? Do, do I have to hop worlds for these logs? Oh, my. Group of hardcore Iron Man is so hard, bro. Alright, so 15 fire making. Now I fletch. Which means, what do I do now? I need to get seven more logs, all right. All right, I'm five thieving. First time getting chance, because these hobble logs gonna hit 10, as much as I heard. But I got my stape grass. Nah, nah, they can't. Literally. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, Maz, ogres. <laughs> chill, buddy, chill. What's going on? What's going on, buddy? I'm starting Monk's friend now, man, so I'm real quick. Bro, these thieves are level 14, I'll be fine. Pick up the blanket. Quick little runner in and out. Only one damage taken. Life's good. Dude, why does the child's blanket look like a silk? Alright, an hour in. Monk's friend completed. 13 wood cutting. Two whole bird's nests before 35 wood cutting, bro. What's going on? Okay, uh... Bro, I, don't even, I think I've already gone the wrong way, I'm not gonna lie. First random of the series. Touch Strange Shine. What we getting? What we getting? I got one Mithril Ore, five coal, and 126 feathers. Is that good? That only took me, like, three hours, but hey, we got it done. 35 woodcutting. Incoming death? Chill, boys. We're doing this until 20 Thieving and I'm not dying at all. Alright, 20 Thieving. It's time to move on to Silk, bro. Hopefully I don't die. Did I do it? What happens when he gets, like, an aggro? I got this knight safe spotted behind some door. I got this guard in a corner. This hero can't hit me. Life's good. Not gonna lie, I was AFK and a knight have already attacked me. I was waiting to hear Maz scream at me. <laughs> okay, good. Anyway, I just got 25 Thiebates. So it's over. Sheep herder done. Prod some sheeps. Can't be too hard. Alright, second quest done. Sheep herder. Not shirter. Something. Moving on to, uh, Sea Slug. Okay, finally got a shrimp, bro. Let's go. That's Sea Slug completed. Time to sell all my silk and make a decent bit of money. Alright, 300 XP construction. Four construction, let's go. Man's got 9.6k just from silk, bro. Let's start Dwarf Cannon. Yo, I don't go do this step, right? At the, uh, Ice Mountain or whatever. Picking up 130 planks. But at the end of the day, we've got a yellow bead in the group storage, boys. Let's fucking go. Alright, I've successfully collected 130 plex. Alright, we got our bar crawl card. Okay, this is a waterfall quest started. Dude, why is that an option, bro? 
Hangover cure, let's go. All right, that's Plague City completed. 15 mining. Two. Anyway, let's finish Daddy's Home. What a quest name. This should be Daddy's Home completed. Giving me, what? 10 construction and a crate full of shit. Let's go. But we have finally made it to the Teaks and we'll be cutting and fire making these logs until 50 fire making so I can go to Winter Todd. Also, what should I do with this clue nest hard, Maz? Anyway, that is 50 fire making, which means I can start working on things towards going to Winter Todd. I think I do Restless Ghost next? Yeah. Maz, this is Dark Wizards! Don't die to a wizard, bro. I had no idea there were even wizards here, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Time to make bookcases. I got to 21 construction, so I'll go start Client of Karend, and then I'll make my way to Winter Todd, I guess. Also, I need to get a thousand feathers real quick from the fishing store, I'd imagine. Probably need... Can I buy them in packs? Probably, huh? Okay. Oh, I need one extra feather. I don't know if that was the smartest play, not gonna lie. We're gonna start Client of Karend and do the Piscus, Piscatorius and Arceus General Store. Alright, we're just gonna do these first two for now. I don't think we're doing the others. Anyway, that's all my headless arrows made. Let's work on making these into arrows now. Alright, and now what do I, like, how do I actually do the minigame? I'm worried, bro. I'm actually mad worried. Like, what do I do? Do I just chop this? Cut roots? Stand by the wall so you're safe? But how do I choose, do what, how do I choose between fletching and burning? Use kindling on brazier. So I can put both logs and the kindling in the brazier. Is that what you're telling me? So shouldn't I just make everything into kindling and then burn it? Less fire making XP if you fletch. Okay. Interesting. Get at least 22 fletching at winter Todd. Okay. So I'll do it until 22 fletching and 500 points minimum. You need 500 points to receive a crate, but I'm not even going to get a point, a crate this game. What? I just got 51 fire making. What the damn hell? Oh, I got a crate! Yo! And then I can just hop worlds and go to the next one. Alright, well I just opened my first crate by mistake. F five grooming mantles, oak logs, emeralds, I'm at 76 fire making. was not meant to do that. Oops. Oh, I opened two of the crates as well. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Damn! I did that thing where I opened my crates again. I just opened five crates by mistake. I got some limestone, some emeralds, some fucking grimy this or that. Bro, my team's gonna be so mad at me when they see this video. Alright, and that is 80 fire making. I think this is what? Our 125th Winter Todd KC? Opened a couple crates by mistake, but we have saved the majority of them. Also, if you guys think PKing or the wilderness is toxic, you guys have clearly never had your public on at Winter Todd. I have read some of the most craziest things here over the past 10 hours or so. Bunch of bunch of crates to open. As you can see, we made a mistakes here and there for some taramin, trout, limestone, and a bunch of other mis miscellaneous shit. But yeah, we have a bunch of crates to get opening. All right, it's time to get opening on the crates. I guess we'll do 10 at a time. I don't know what the most efficient way to open crates is. Uncut rubies, some dynamite, pure essence, some cash, uh, raw trout, raw salmon. What we're really looking for is mage logs for DT. If I don't get them, it's not the biggest deal as I have three other people on the team, obviously. But they are pretty rare, so I'm hoping to get the best. Some more cash, some more coal, some more gems, burnt pages, sapphires, okay. Nothing that great, so well, I don't know what's great to be honest. I don't know what I'm looking for here apart from mage logs. Mahogany seeds, warm gloves, that looks cool, teak logs. Let's just keep opening these all. Any mage logs for us? Not yet, I got a pyromancer garb too, awesome. Damn, some more burnt pages, nothing too special though. Some more burnt pages, some more mahogany seeds. Come on bro, give me some mage logs. Where's the mage logs at? Limestone, saltpeter. Come on son. What is that, a bruma torch? Two bruma torches? Still no mage logs. I don't even know what these broom torches do, to be honest. Ten supply crates. Some more gloves. Some more salt. Pe oh, ma mage logs. Let's go. 18 of them. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Okay, that is 18 out of 48 that we need for our total group. That's good. That means at least one of us can get DT done. That's really sick. I'm happy with that. All right, let's keep going. 
make it quicker. Um, some more limestone, some more gems. Come on, baby. Come on. Give us some more mage logs. I beg. Ten more crates to go. How many more crates do we have? Not that many. Less than, like, ten to go now. Another Bruma Torch. Uh, still no mage logs. Open supply crates. Alright, that's all it. Okay, that's done. No mage logs, unfortunately. Our cash deck is what? Up to 166k from that. Got a bunch of herbs, a bunch of gems. Uh, three or four Bruma Torches, whatever those are. Let me check. Three Bruma Torches. 18 magic logs, as far as I can remember. So that's one, per one and a half DTs done out of four. All right, this is it for the first episode of Group Hardcore Iron Man, 166k cash and all of this loot from Winter Todd, the 18 magic logs as well. Here are the stats that we're ending off the first video with, 80 fire making, 53 wood cutting, and a bunch of other stuff. We're still level three, 10 HP. In the next episode, we're gonna be working on that, getting our combats up and working with the team to get in a really good position. I'll be leaving a link to Mika and Mazar's YouTube channel in the description below. Check them both out. 9-2 thinks he's too cool for YouTube and all that. I've been trying to convince him to make videos and streams, but he just doesn't want to, so I'll probably be just using some of his photos and recordings in my own videos, if that's alright with you guys, which I'm sure it will be. Anyway, if you guys have enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this new type of content, and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of my group Hardcore Iron Man series.